and welcome to my channel. I am discussing a serious topic that I wasn't sure I wanted to address on a public platform. Um, I feel like it's already, you know, kind of hard enough just discussing it amongst friends and family. Um, whew, where do I start? So this discussion is being in your late 20s and being single. Let me let me rephrase that. Female, late 20s and single. There are um there are a lot of night but I but I there are a lot of frustrations that come with you know being single and when you're on the outside looking in you're like oh you know what, she's bitter, oh, she's impatient, oh, you know, it's, it's like all the commentary that comes with it. But I'm going to discuss some of my, some of the top things that like irritates my soul when you're single and you're trying to get out there and date. So, here we go. So frustration number one, and it's not in any specific order, is social media. Now, I say this to all women that are single. Social media will literally depress the hell out of you. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know what, I just love seeing all the engagements and, you know, weddings on my timeline. It literally makes you feel like you're you're behind or you're doing something wrong and it's not the case um DMs okay direct messaging on social media is the most irritating and annoying thing now it's not the fact that I get them because I like it's not the fact that I get them it's the fact it's, it's what is in the message it's not hey how are you doing my name is so and so you know I think that you're really awesome and I would like for us to you know hang out and get dinner no it's like it's basically like this dang baby girl I be wanting to lick you from top to bottom like straight up though like what's up though we can we can Netflix and chill we can kick it I can give you some of this deep like real you know what I'm saying like straight up though I'm a real nigga though I'm a real nigga all day Give me back, big girl. I'm gonna need you to not. Like, seriously. Just cut it out. Okay, frustration number two. And I think this is more so on my end. Is being picky, okay? You would think you found somebody, and you know, and you're, you're texting your girls, and you're like, girl, mm -mm. girl. Oh, I, I know I found the one now. I found the one. He, it's like, girl, he's six five, oh, dark skin, beard, brown eyes, and he stepped to me, but just so politely. So we got our first date this weekend. I'm gonna tell you all about it, girl. Yes! Oh my goodness. It gotta be it. It, it gotta be it. I just feel it, cause we just connected like. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, never mind. That's canceled. I just, I just didn't feel. I just didn't feel the, the, the spark, the flame, like. And he smacks loud as hell. Yeah, like he's not for me. He is not the one. Jack up, girl. Nope, I can't see him no more. Period. Yeah, I'm guilty of doing that, you know, doing that a lot, or being turned off by a lot of things. And another frustration is meeting a man that isn't like on your level, like financially, you know, spiritually, emotionally. It's kind of like, okay, you expect me to step down? Like, no. It took me forever to just, well not forever, but I worked my butt off to to even get to the point where I'm at right now. And, um, like, I, I definitely, you know, I get the whole, you know, let's build together, let's grow together. But I am sorry, and I probably speak for at least a, a good amount of females when I say this. If I work my butt off to follow my goal of living on my own and having my own and not depending on people, yes, I look for somebody who is the same way. You don't have to be a billionaire. You don't have to drive a Benz and all this other materialistic stuff. But yes, I'm going to need you to have your life together. Like, that's, that's just a given. So, um, what do you do for a living? Working on this mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I'm still here. Uh, okay, so what area do you live in? Uh, where I stay? Oh, I stay over in, you know, the Bronzeville area. Well, yeah, you know, nice two bedroom. Ah, Bronzeville is nice. Okay, okay. Okay, two bedroom. Okay, cool. It's me and my mama. I mean, I, you know, that, that's her place, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna be out of there soon, as soon as this, this mixtape drop, you know? You know, I've been, been grinding on my grind. Hold on, hold on a second. Hey, mom, can you make my plate? Hello? Hello? Frustration number three. Family. I'm sorry. I love y'all dearly. But my goodness. The questions about if I'm dating someone or when I'm dating someone or complete. When you gonna settle down and have a family and get married and have kids? Well, I'm not trying to settle. That's uh, now you know it. Uh, it's hard to push them things out when you're in your thirties. And... Ah, good to know. Yeah, you only got three more years, baby. I'm just saying. I mean, you got time. You got time, but you ain't got that much damn time, but what I'm saying is, you know, are you dating, you got a boyfriend, you know, a little friend, little, you know, somebody, like, you know, who you, who you, who you talking to, you, who you been with, you know, oh, what, what's that guy's name, uh, 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 ooh, uh, James, James, that was his name. What, what ever happened to James? What about James? James was a cheater. Oh, well, you know all men cheat, baby. The myth that all single women do is go to clubs, get drunk, and just try to meet somebody there. 
First of all, that is 100% false. Well, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. I don't like clubs. I, I hate them. Now, I do like bars. I like nice restaurants, you know, to go to with my friends. I like events like Bottles and Bottega or Whirly Ball, Laser Tag, like, I like stuff like that. Um, but I never feel like my husband is at a bar. And quite honestly, like 99.9% .9 of the men I see at bars, I don't take seriously. Like, and I don't even waste my time. Blind dates, like, no, no. Blind dates are awful, terrible, like, they're the most, ugh, like, I hate blind dates. They're like, so stupid, I'm not gonna like you. Nothing good ever comes from a blind date. Like, oh, text etiquette. So, you, you meet someone and y'all exchange numbers and you guys are texting. Send me a pic. And you know what guys? Um, if there's anything I missed, um, comment below. Tell me some of your frustrations with um, being single. Um, just period. Um, also, this is not to bash men, okay? Not at all, like, but this is just showing the things that I'm tired of dealing with as a single woman, like, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little under the weather, um, I'm single because I'm weak, I'm single, oh! I just ripped my pants. <laughs> okay, on that note, I gotta go.